I, I went into a studio that the band had um, for four or five songs just cruising through town. And um, I, I had a chance to say, hey, you know, how you doing? Shook his hand. I never got to rap with him uh, or anything, but I love what he did on tape. I love what he, I think he helped free the band up instead of maybe we got two parts oriented, you know, instead of just letting it roll, let the good time roll and dance with it, you know. Or maybe I did. Maybe I'm thinking it because I did, see. It's hard for me to judge way back in, you know, but I thought, I think he brought that aspect back into the band and working with Artemis, and Artemis was hot and fresh and wanting to let the good times roll uh, and let the feel come up. That's where Ronnie, I think, dug it. He thought that feeling was right. You got that feel right, Ronnie knew it, see. When that feel was right, Ronnie knew it, and he, and he encouraged it to stay right there and help it stay right there. But um, I think working with uh, Artemis, I, I think that Steve uh, helped the band to just cut loose Fancy free and forget forget a little bit too much about the parts, you know. Let let the let the melody and the good feeling and and, and all that stuff uh, pull the sound up instead of how good can I play it? More so, you know. And I guess you could say I'm very extreme with it, doing the best I can. You'll have to understand. Sometimes I get confused, you know. Uh, too much what's too much uh, information uh, will spoil my concentration. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, Billy Powell. Billy Powell is Marsha's favorite musician in the band. Maybe I mean she doesn't know the pickers like I I knew them or anything. But she had a chance to meet them several different times and and talk and say hello. And she voted uh, Billy most talented at the uh, Freebird Foundation. Again, she seen him play live in front of them for the first time in 20 years or something like that. You know, and she was. Uh, at the party that we played, the song MCA, where we got, uh, 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 Richards. where we got signed with MCA Plus, she was at that party, Marsha was. And I remember seeing her, and she remembers seeing me over 30 years ago when we were both teenagers. And then again, 12 years ago, no, 15, 16 years ago, we crossed our paths again at an organization that, that Preaches spirituality and peace and love and stuff, you know. I won't have to go into that. Maybe at a later date or something. But I met her there, and I had I had an old lady then, a soulmate. And she was, I thought she was married. I, I think I'd have left. Well, I think I'd have left what I had right then. I thought she was married, but they got married shortly after that. And then we got together uh, 11 years ago, and um, I I was never gonna marry again. My first marriage. Um, I hope I hope for peace, love, and there. Peace and love for everybody involved in my past, but the, uh, I wasn't going to marry again. And I felt so in love with her. I felt like some that the creator would say, "Hey, go for it. You got, if you need my permission, you got it." So, and it's been good. It's been real good. Billy Powell is a piano player. There. Yes, yeah. The Billy's first thing he was in in the service, see, or playing for the service. I, I'm not quite positive. He was either playing for service people, concerts, piano, like a Beethoven, and crossing his hands and doing all those runs like Beethoven does and all that. And uh, he took us backstage after a concert, and he says, I want to show you uh, what I have took one of your songs. We didn't know this. He's, he was coming and listening to us. We didn't know that. I didn't know that. And he played Freebird for us classically. Like, like, you know, classic pianists would play, hands going everywhere, and like he does, you know. But it was classic. And the only thing I remember definitely hearing was this, Ronnie. He said, boy, you're a genius on your instrument, but I'm going to teach you how to rock and roll. <laughs> all, all the thing I knew after that, he was in the band. And he, he just, he's as good as he gets, too. Again, uh, I think Billy Pyle, in my opinion, I have a right to my opinion, you know, as much as anybody else. Has, I think Billy Pyle's the greatest keyboard player in rock and roll, they is, period, period. And a pleasure to work with him. And I wish that my mind was clear enough and my illness was clear enough to, to just let go of Billy sometime. You know, just just let, let it roll. Don't worry about parts or, uh, except you're gonna have to have a skeleton in any song, uh, the foundation, you're gonna have to have a skeleton. But other than that, I like to just go wild with Billy Powell sometimes, the, the way he plays, you know. Sometimes I think back, I don't even know if I can do this or not. But I hear in my head things I would do today. I don't think play them, but I hear them. And Ronnie says, any musician's any quality. If he can hear it and hear it, he can play it. 
I'm hearing things working with Billy Pilot. Oh, this would be wonderful. He's a freaking genius and a damn good guy. A funny man, too. He kept us laughing like Leon did. You know, thousands of skits and stories he would do. If you ever see Billy, ask him to do his impersonation to Elvis. Actually, he did. He did do that for us. Did he? <laughs> what did I tell you, Zach? Um, all right. We. Quit Quit Um, uh, We dedicated this to the, the family and all, everybody who played a part. Mm hmm to creating this legend and if you could if you could say something to all the guys who made up this band and this legend that, that still lives on to this day what is it that you would like to say to, to the, the family as a whole as Leonard Skinner? Well I'm glad you, you summed it up with this last question. Uh, uh, I am I'm deeply touched by you guys coming into this. It's something that I feel like I needed to say on this tape and to get out into my feelings for the last 30 years that we haven't really been, you know, like the first 20. I love everybody in that band. Today I harbor no resentment. I harbor no, harbor no bad feelings. I have only love for everybody in the band and what they're doing. Again, my hats are over there, but if I had my hat right now, I'd take it off and sit it right there, see? My hats are off to all of them. Uh, I, I sometimes have to pinch myself to see if what I did with those boys and how, how much it changed the world and everything, to see if it's real. It was so beautiful. To me, thinking back on it, it's like a dream, a wonderful dream, a beautiful dream. That's so funny. It's been over 30 years ago that I was with all the boys. At least two or three times a week, my dreams are with the band again. It was very, very spiritual. Uh, but it's good. It's all good. The kids are saying, right? It's all good, Pop. It's all, you know, the kids. Uh, but I say go for it. I say rock and roll. And I say, you know, let the good times roll. And I would like to say that I have people come up to me and say, Gary said this. Arma says this. Billy says this and all this. And, and they're, I, just, I just tell them, you know, go away. Go away from me with that trash, you know? Because I know them on a, a spiritual level and a love level of brothers and musicians that uh, uh, I don't have room for the politics today. I don't have, I don't have room for the, uh, he said this, why did he say that? Are you jealous? I, I, don't, I don't want any part of it, see? I'm open to, if it ever gets freed up enough to, to jam, maybe not record, I, I don't know my abilities today. They've been playing 32 years, and I've been hanging out trying to find out what, you know, makes me tick. And um, because of this tape tonight, I found another great part of that, of what does make me tick. And I'm, I'm forever grateful for those guys. They'll always be in my hearts and minds. And I believe one day, uh, the pain, the suffering, the suicides, the, the diseases killing, the plane crash, the horrible things that's happened, I believe one day we'll understand why. And I just pray in the name of Jesus right now that in everybody's minds that when they think about it, I pray for the spirit of love and peace to be there first and leave them last about that thought, to go on and carry on and do the best they can and not try to understand it, not try to, to dissect it, and not try to reason with it because we're not going to find it in this life. We're not going to find that. Uh, but in my opinion, based on what I've learned in, in this last 32 years, uh, uh, Skinner will be jamming, and what a free bird is here, ain't nothing gonna be to the free birds we're all gonna experience later, all of us. And uh, peace and love.